Well, all this week here at 630, we're working for you, showing you the best way to handle home improvements. Now, if you're inspired by all those TV shows and about house flipping, there are some things you should consider before you try it yourself. Two Works For You's Corey Duke found reality TV is a lot different than, of course, reality. Flip or flop, fix or up or property brothers. It's all the same concept. Replace all the hardware. They get a house in disarray. Door handles, all the hinges. Take about a month to flip it, and voila, the end result is a beautiful home. And money in the bank. But perception is sometimes deception. They're beautiful homes and everything, but it's just not reality. Travis Tomlinson has been flipping homes for years. He says he's constantly hearing from people who watch reality shows and get in a little over their head. They get themselves in a real bind because they don't have the experience, they don't have the knowledge. Overpaying for a property is your first mistake. You need to know the neighborhood. If you purchase wrong, it's really tough to make a profit on it. If you overpay, you'll have less money for other things. If you've even done a small home improvement in your house, it ends up being twice as expensive as you thought it was going to be. Extrapolate that to a whole property of all the problems that can happen. And what you don't see on TV. Well, they come in with a team of 15 or 20 guys and they're getting done in one day what it takes me maybe a week. And while the flips on TV are extravagant, you should start small. A lot of people maybe go too far on some of the renovations that they plan on doing. That will really make it stand out. Laurel Fulton, who stages flipped homes, says perhaps the biggest misconception on TV is the profit. It's not real realistic that you're gonna make that kind of money. Maybe in certain areas, California, um, in other places you can, but for our area, typically you don't see those kind of profits. So in order for your first flip not to be a flop, find the right property for the right price and don't try to fix her up too much. And that was Corey reporting for us this morning. The experts we talked to say to make sure to have a mentor if you're a first time flipper who knows what they're doing, they can help you out if you run into any unforeseen problems.